Hey everyone, my name is Tegan and welcome back to Tandy Writes. Welcome back to another day of me committing to reviewing all of my favourite reads of the year so far. Today we're reviewing Dear Wendy by Anne Zhao, one of my favourite reads from the first half of the year. You may notice that this one is a bit of an outlier to my usual favourites. My tastes tend to skew a little dark and more fantasy and horror heavy, but as an asexual who is always on the hunt for authentic representation, I knew I was going to love this one. Despite knowing she'll never fall in love, Sophie enjoys running Dear Wendy, an Instagram account that offers relationship advice to students at her college. When Joe, also a first year student, created their Sincerely Wonder account, it wasn't at all meant to be serious or take off like it does, not like Dear Wendy's. But now they might have a rivalry of sorts. While tensions are rising online, Sophie and Joe are getting closer in real life, bonding over their shared arrow ace identities. As their friendship develops and they work together to start a campus organisation for other ASPEC students, can their growing bond survive if they learn just who's behind the Wendy and Wanda accounts? This book felt like the warmest hug. Not only was this a hugely relatable story about floundering through the college experience, it's about friendship and figuring out where you want to go in life. Just like the tagline where it says, a love story but not the kind you expect, it's about the relationships that feed your soul and make you feel loved with your family, friendships and community. I also love the theme of loneliness and the loneliness you feel when you're not in a romantic relationship but seemingly everyone else is and that is the centre of their universe. And we see our two main characters struggling with what their future is going to look like if they don't have a romantic partner when it seems like all of society builds the life of the idea that they are going to have one. I don't tend to read a lot of contemporaries anymore but I've been dipping my toes back into reading more of it because that's where I tend to find a lot of specific queer representation and I'm glad I picked up this book. The asexual and aromantic representation in Dear Wendy is a breath of fresh air and I still not stopped thinking about it ever since I read the book earlier in the year. There are such great conversations about the aphobia in our society and the erasure within the queer community and these topics were talked about in such a profound and moving way and I was on the verge of stopping my way through the second half of the book. I also like the side characters' sapphic relationships, but I will iterate that this is not a sapphic book, despite the Goodreads tags. The main characters are asexual and aromantic, they do not end up together romantically, they end up in this kind of queer platonic relationship. They love each other, but they're not in love with each other, if that makes sense. I loved both Sophie and Jo, they are different in a lot of ways, but also so similar. I really understood why they got along so well. I like the contrast of advice they give in their Instagram posts, with both Wendy and Wanda having very different styles of advice but still giving good and well thought out opinions to young people. There was a lot of emphasis on communication, being honest and living with who you are. To me the best part of this book is when it talks about breaking up with your best friend and I don't think that's something which is talked about enough. Dear Wendy is the platonic love story of my dreams. I'm always searching for more contemporary stories that explore the nuances and complexities of being Arrow Ace and this was certainly it. This book is a platonic comedy with an exploration of aspec identities and college life and teenagery feelings, and it's ultimately a love story about two people who are not and will not be in love. I love that while Sophie and Joe are both settled in their identities, and this is the book about being arrow ace rather than discovering asexuality, they still had societal pressure induced insecurities and anxieties. It felt like a piece of my own life had been put onto the page. If you like Arrow Ace representation, Chinese female main characters, young adult contemporaries and a touch of secret identities, this one is for you. Angel really knocked her debut out of the park. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you next time. Bye!